If you've been following me so far, you've probably figured out by now that I love my dogs and have a big passion for dogs. Tim and I have adopted a few of them from rescue organizations we volunteered at and also taken in some strays as our own and took care of them medically and give them food, water, and shelter and give them the love that they deserve. And because there's a few, quite a few of them living with us, uh, we needed to put all their stuff into one area of the house and so we turned our laundry room into a laundry room slash doggy room. You probably won't find any of the doggy furniture I've bought in the past, but they're in other parts of the house, so don't be surprised if you don't find them here. So right outside the room, we have a sign hanging up. Uh, it says, Recipe for a Happy Dog. Uh, I thought this was so appropriate because it is located in the kitchen. And I got this from Home Goods a while back. Now let's go and enter their room. You can see our washer and dryer here. I'm going to go and give you an overview. There's a little chilly sleeping. This is not a really big room. Again, this is the laundry room. Uh, this is just kind of a place for them to sleep and hang out. So we'll go ahead and start on the left hand side over here. Um, this is a key holder we got from Galveston. It says the more I meet people, the more I like my dog, but we're using it to hold their uh, collars. Um, this is all the big dogs, our German Shepherd and Pitbulls. Uh, all the Ruby's tag is on there. And we're hanging on this little towel rack. They're big dog clothes. Uh, they don't really wear them, but we bought them because they were a good deal and they were cute. And down here, in fact, there's a doggy bed that's tore up. We have to uh, get that sewn one of these days. And here is a food bin. Um, it's just easier to scoop out their food out of this than from a bag. So, got that from PetSmart. And we're going to start from here again. You saw Chili. Um, these are uh, two beds put together. Uh, we cover them with old sheets that we don't use anymore. Uh, it's just easier to take them off and wash them and just wrap them back up. And there's a couple cages down here. Uh, this cage is basically used to put uh, random toys in. It just keeps everything neat. I have a little polka dotted uh, bed. They like to jump up on and sleep there too. And this is Chloe, our little beagle. Those are two uh, beds we got from PetSmart. They were $5 a piece uh, on a good deal. And we wrapped them up with uh, pillowcases we don't use. Again, they're easy to come off and, and to wash. And back here, these pictures I got from a calendar I bought from Ross, I believe. And uh, they make good collages. So these are really cute pictures. Some more up here. It's a little cabinet. We put like cleaning supplies and and doggy towels in. And we'll go and start from the top on this wall. And these are more uh, pictures from another calendar. And I thought these were so cute. That's a uh, King Charles Spaniel. I would love to have one of those someday. And this is a real window, but we keep it closed because, uh, you know, when a bunch of them bark, uh, you know, we don't want it disturbed by neighbors, so we keep it closed tight. And I have it covered with uh, a shower curtain that I don't use anymore. Uh, I got it uh, folded twice over, so it made it into a perfect square. And I hung it up with nails there and lined up the holes and decided to just decorate it with, you know, hanging a sign and all that. That's a keychain on the right and it's a little stuffed animal and this sign I got from Ross and it says when everything in life fails hug the dog which is so true and I believe this was like under five dollars and I'm gonna go and start from the left here uh, is a little picture frame it says bad to the bone uh, I got this as a gift uh, from a friend of ours um, and that's a picture of our German Shepherd Cheyenne. You've probably seen her in a vlog uh, before. And I 
saw that at Bed Bath & Beyond and uh, I believe it was $20. So we're very glad we got that as a gift. <laughs> and over here is another picture frame and it's from Home Goods. It says Doll Cool Nose Warm Heart. And those are our two pit bulls. That's Champ and Charlotte. You've probably seen Charlotte at the dog park with us. And that's when she was a lot smaller. And I thought it was really cute that two big dogs would uh, try to squeeze into a little tiny bed. So I thought that was really cute. And here it says, I woof you. I got this from Ross again. Uh, this was uh, on a reduced price for $3 because it's a little banged up and got some scratches on it. But it gives it character. I have no problem with that. And down here is another picture Fran got from Home Goods. Love those paw prints. And it says Live Love Bark. And that's a picture of Chowder, uh, Chip, Cherry, and Chili. You've probably seen these two. Well, you just saw Chili. She's sleeping right now. And I thought it was cute that they have matching clothes. And over here, that dog bone hook came in a set of three. The other two is on the next wall. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, that came from Bed Bath & Beyond. And this little sign, Think With Your Heart. I got that as a gift. I had no place for it anywhere else, so I thought it would just look good in here. So I hung it on that. And here is another picture frame. And that's Chili, who you just seen. And this is Dogs for People, too. I got this from Home Goods. And um, if you can see, she has a little uh, toy with teeth. Um, lined up right where her mouth is so it looks like buck teeth so I thought that was hilarious and going up here I got this uh, shelf hook thing from Ross it was a reduced price for three dollars and fifty cents and I know that's not for dogs it's for little girls but sometimes when you buy uh, human stuff it's a lot cheaper than doggy stuff so I took advantage of that and um, I thought what was so functional were these little uh, flowers they actually keep from the hangers falling forward so I thought that was very functional and as you can see uh, they're wearing some of the clothes so they're not all hung there and on the shelf uh, you can see these three stuffed animals this is from the Lulu pink line I got them from Walmart that they were too cute to be used as toys to be tore up so uh, they're on here for display and this is a, a salt and pepper shaker I got from Pier 1 Imports. And it's a fire hydrant and a dog peeing on it. How appropriate. <laughs> and it's a little precious moments I've had. I thought it was really cute to put here. And right above that is a sign from Ross, of course. It says the best things in life are furry. And it's pink and it's got a glittery paw print. Of course it's perfect. So I'll give you another overview of this side of the wall. Oh, and below here, I forgot to explain, um, mm -hmm. this pink uh, wood right here, I painted it pink. Uh, we have to actually protect the walls um, because when we're gone for a period of time, they start eating the drywall. So we're protecting that and it's working so far. And on this side, we're just using uh, the lids to a couple of our bins since we didn't have any more wood left. I'm going to go and, go and give an overview of this side. So we're going to start from the top again. More pictures from the same calendar. And as you can see up here, there's another sign. It's from Ross. It says La Boutique. It's a little Paris cute pink sign. It's got a little poodle on it. That's really appropriate since all their clothes are hanging here. It looks like a little doggy boutique. And these hooks are uh, what I mentioned earlier. It came with that doggy bone hook. Uh, a set of three at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I hang the medium sized clothes for the girls. This is uh, basically Chloe's clothes, uh, the Beagle. Um, they're too kind of they're kind of too big to uh, be hanging on the little little ones. So. That's what they're for. And below that, I have two uh, little hooks. Um, they're both the same, it says wolf, and they have 
and they're in a set of two hooks and I got these from Home Goods for five dollars each and this is where I hang all the little dogs collars so this is the boys and the girls right there and we'll go into the right and here's another doggy shirt holder I got um, and it's in the shape of a bone it says welcome wagon and it's got a tail right there and paw prints here and it's got the it's got that end where the hangers don't fall forward which is functional and these are the boys clothes um, I get these for a really good deal on really all the clothes um, I don't like to buy anything really above ten dollars um, and and these I got from PetSmart these little fleece shirts uh, in different colors are like four or five dollars each so I thought that was a really good deal and above that is a little pink shelf I got from Ross uh, this was on a, a reduced price because of all the scratches and stuff um, and I basically use it to hold little uh, knickknacks to kind of keep their room cute and this is a little picture frame I got from Target this is a picture of Chassie and Chelsea those are our littlest dogs and that's a good segue into the shirts above. That's these are their clothes. <laughs> um, you can see this is a flip flop uh, shirt holder. Um, again, that's probably for little girls, but again, they're a lot cheaper sometimes uh, than doggy stuff. So I got that for also under five dollars. I thought it was worth it. Unfortunately, these don't have those ends uh, where it keeps the the hangers from falling. So I had to put these uh, little doggy socks to hold them in place so that's why they're there let's go ahead and move on to the doggy closet this is actually a pantry but we use it to put all their stuff in so we'll go and start from the bottom um, we feed them pro plan as you can see this is actually puppy food for Charlotte she's still growing so that's there for her and we have obviously laundry detergent and some other things like a griddle and a fryer back there and above that we keep all their bowls and behind that are plastic wear we basically take these when we go on road trips just to put their food in it's just easier to contain and this is a little christmas bin um, we got uh, we have more plastic wear in there and above that this is their grooming stuff uh, as you can see these are two identical baskets. It says dog stuff. I got these from Home Goods. I believe they were like seven dollars. I'm not really sure, but I have pet wipes in here, and these are lint rollers for us. And on this side, uh, we have their doggy shampoo, their ear rinses, eye rinse, uh, brushes, dry shampoo spray. Uh, a couple of products we got from a pet expo. This is uh, the John Paul Paul Mitchell pet line. It's a tea tree conditioning spray, and I thought it was so cute that it says right here, uh, tested on humans first. I thought that was really funny. And behind that is a, a, their shampoo lines, the Awapuchi shampoo. And we got this in a set with uh, some samples and pet wipes in a little bag up here. You can see. That was really, really cute. I might use this for myself, actually. And to the right of this basket is... A treat jar I bought a while back. Um, it's really cute. It's got polka dots and it's got a pink lid with a bone uh, for a handle. But I actually broke this in half and super glued it back together so I couldn't use it uh, for treats anymore. It's not safe. So now we use it for uh, putting cotton balls in here and we use this to clean their ears out with. And now I don't buy porcelain jars. I buy uh, plastic now. So we're actually out of uh, treats at the moment. We're going to have to get some more. And on, on this shelf, we basically keep administrative stuff like their uh, vet records and uh, their rabies certificates and everything. And they each have their own folder in here. And here in this bin, I actually got this from Half Price Books. It says dog treats on it. And it came with a little cookbook for dogs and uh, a little doggy biscuit. Um, cookie cutter thing but I use it now for uh, their heart guard heartworm prevention um, that's really important to keep up with that here we have balls and extra toys and these bins were $1.10 from HEB and here uh, I got this from Walmart I think it was like $10 a while back and I keep extra grooming stuff in here and extra clothes that uh, I don't have hangers to 
that's where they go and uh, more containers with uh, again more toys and brochures and information on on products and, and other things. And above that are, again you saw the Paul Mitchell bag, behind it is actually a little carry-on bag I put like cherry in or something when I travel and uh, doggy blankets and here are e-collars, small and there's uh, large ones back there. They would always come in handy just in case anything happens in the future. I'll give you another overview of their closet. I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Please feel free to leave any comments below. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you in the next video.